So I came here today to learn a little bit about a traditional Sichuan art form known as the shadow play. Uh, what I've heard it is is a bunch of shadow puppets being controlled behind a screen. And across from us, you can see a number of people have already gathered to see the same play. So I want to learn how to do it. Let's go take a look. So here we are at the shadow play. As you can see, the uh, master is already performing his art. And I'm curious to learn a bit more about it. It looks very interesting, very funny too. Uh, it looks like a very cool thing to understand a little bit more about. Apparently, this is a very famous art form that is originated in Sichuan. Um, I'm looking at it now. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, from the outside, it looks like they're moving themselves, but somebody is in there controlling it. And I want to learn how to get in control in this. So. Let's see if we can try it out. Here we have the master, you can see. He's very skilled at his craft. I have a couple questions I want to ask him, and the first one is, what is the history of this? Where does this come from? Let's ask him. Uh, so this apparently came about during the Han Dynasty, has thousands of years of history. And uh, what I've heard is that when the emperor's wife died, a famous emperor in the Han Dynasty, they made one of these shadow puppets to commemorate her, to look like her. And they put that during her funeral for the emperor to see, to make him happy. So next I want to find out, how are these puppets made? They look very intricate. So let's ask him. Uh, 师父, so this is basically some type of rough leather. It's the, the skin of a cow that's been dried out in the sun for a long period of time and um, apparently painted in very, very beautiful fashion. So uh, the, the last question I want to ask is why is this art form so special to Chengdu and Sichuan? Um, so... Let's figure that out. So the, the Chengdu fashion comes from the south of China. Uh, this is apparently a variation on a southern Chinese art form. Uh, but in Chengdu, it's famous throughout all of China because it has a different stylistic interpretation, like much of the art that we've seen today and much of the cuisine we've tasted. So we know a little bit about the history and the significance of the Sichuan shadow play, but now I can't help but wanting to give it a try. Let's see if we can give it a shot. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going to need a lesson from the teacher here. Hey, uh, Still much more complicated than I expected. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's see if the teacher can help me figure it out here. <laughs> oh. I don't think I'm as good as he is, but I'm learning a thing or two. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not so good at this.
Well, how do you think I'm doing? I think I'm getting pretty good. It's a lot harder than I thought, but I hope that you can all come and give it a try and see how much fun this is. A lot of cool things in terms of culture in Sichuan today, and uh, I've learned a lot. I hope you can come learn a lot too. Thanks. So today, I was lucky enough to get the chance to come and study the shadow play with the master here. And he really taught me that I don't know what I'm doing, but that I'm very interested in learning more. And I hope that in the future, I get a chance to come give it a shot again, because it's very interesting. I would also welcome all of my friends from abroad to come check this out. And I also really want to say thank you to the Shifu who has taught me so much. Shifu in Chinese means master. It means he's very good at what he does. So, thank you, Shifu. Uh, uh, so, Shifu can tell them a bye-bye. 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 Thank you all. <laughs>